spirit of the season and it's a joy for me to see all of you here in good spirit as well huh? ah royalty as well super now <laughs> s'il vous plaît another question have any of you or your petits enfants ever written a letter to my friend santa claus at the north pole yes good big people i'm glad you admit this too yeah. now in france if you write a letter to me le Père Noël, and you put a return address on the envelope the French government pays the postage for the reply. <laughs> Not bad. Huh? So, as you can imagine, I get a lot of letters, but I would like to share with you one of my favorite. It's from a lovely little girl named Babette. She lives with her old Uncle Louis and her brother Francois on a farm near Le Beau in the mountain of Provence. And her letter will give you a, a little flavor of the holiday season in France. Écoutez, listen. Dear Père although my big brother Francois says Christmas is for babies. Oh, Francois, <laughs> la, 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 la. I look forward to la vie de petit Jésus and the visit from you. Well, <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> the watch night, ah, the watch night. This is our Christmas Eve. The watch night is a magical evening when we sit in front of the fire, sipping hot cider. And Uncle Louis tells us the story of the birth of the baby Jesus. Well, she goes on to say her big brother Francois, he teases her about this. Uh, Francois does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Le Père Noël. But for me, nothing can surpass the magic of watch night and the fragile beauty of a child's face on Christmas morning. Alors, with Christmas still several days away, Uncle Louis, he secretly decorates the tree and Francois helps Babette to set up the cheche. Aha, you know this word, cheche? It is the nativity scene, one of the most important symbols of Christmas to the French. Well, even though it was invented by an Italian, St. Francis of Assisi, but it's okay too. <laughs> now, you know the figures that place inside the cheche? Mary and Joseph, three wise men, little drummer boy, well, in Provence, where Babette is from, the custom is to also have a figure represent people from the village. The baker, the priest, the little figures, they're made of clay called Santon. Little saints. And last year, it was Babette's wish for another Santon to place in the crash, as though it was going to visit the baby Jesus. It is a very beautiful custom. And last year, Babette was finally old enough to go to Midnight Mass. <laughs> she was so very excited. Uncle Louis brought in a newborn lamb to symbolize the Lamb of God. And then he put it into a little cart so Babette could pull it all around the church for everyone to see. While shepherds played on flutes and drums. Oh, it was very magical. Then, after the Mass, they return home for Le Réveillon, the Big Supper. Who here likes to eat at Christmas time? Who here likes to eat all the time? <laughs> we, the French are no different. Uh, and last year, for Le Réveillon, Babette had roast goose. Mm, Et les fromages. Le fromage sounds fancy. It means Jesus. <laughs> C'est simple. Now, for dessert, 
They have the bûche de Noël. This is a cake shaped like the Yule log, huh? Oh, oh, even Francois likes that. It's a magnifique. Now, before she goes to bed, Pepe takes a little figure of the baby Jesus and she places it in the crèche. Enfin, the last thing she does, she sets out her shoe by the fireplace so that I can come and fill it with treats and goodies. Oh, oh no. Uh, last year, Pepe was a little, uh, you say, hey, devilish. This was the shoe she left by the hearth with her name on it. <laughs> if this is Pepe's shoe. She is a grand pied, a big foot, oui? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, Christmas morning, Pepette wakes up, rubs her eyes, she runs to wake Francois, then she runs to see what I bring, but Francois takes his time. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Le Père Noël. But when they get to the tree, they find a big surprise, quelque chose extraordinaire. Not one, not two, but three, cent ans. One carved to look like old Uncle Louis. <laughs> the other like doubting Francois. But the third, it looks just like dear sweet Babette herself. <laughs> well, she closes her letter to me by saying, I think Christmas is a very magical time. All I need is a Christmas tree, some Santon, and you, Père Noël. <laughs> Love, Bebe. Oh, isn't that sweet? Huh? That, mes amis, is a French Christmas through the eyes of a delightful little child. Oh, <laughs> well, sure, a sneaky one, oui, yes, but a delightful child, nevertheless. Oh. Mm. Guess who I have received a letter from just the other day? Mm -hmm. Doubting Francois himself. I guess he believes a pen a well a little bit now. Huh? <laughs> he was very high tech with his letter. He just emailed it. <laughs> now tell me, do you all believe in Christmas? Aha, yeah. uh -huh. do you all believe in Le Père Noël? Yeah. Uh, okay, man. I want you to let me say, Merry Christmas in my language which is Joyeux Noël. Let's try it out. Un, deux, trois. Joyeux, Joyeux Noël. Oh, très bien. <laughs> it's music to Père Noël's ears. Uh, when? Joyeux Noël et bonne année. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everyone. Oh, merci beaucoup. Very nice. We have a little bit of time. As you can imagine, I'm very busy this year, but if you would like photo, Please form a nice line right behind Kevin. There is no pushing and shoving in front of Le Pen away. Well, you are here first.